Hey guys, I'm HP, this is Dr. Pink, and today I'm going to talk about Mac the Knife and the version of Ella Fitzgerald in specific. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy with a free membership account or a premium membership account. So I just put on my special jazz t-shirt, and for those who don't know the song, that's how it sounds. <laughs> So we're going to check out the theme, we're going to check out to make an improvisation and we're going to check out to get into this really cool groove. I mean, I love, love, love the version of Ella Fitzgerald because it has so much happy power and it's so groovy. Serious, guys. Check it out. It's really a famous recording. Um, there are many other versions of this, but this is the version I love and in this version um, we start in the key of G, oh my cable here is a bit winded up, and then two choruses are in the key of G and then it moves up each chorus half step. So then in A flat, then in A, then B flat, then in B and, you know, and I think there it stops. So you also need to be able to transpose the whole thing, well on the guitar it's easy to transpose, you know. <laughs> so let's first check out the theme. And then um, how to groove. Now let's first check out how to groove and then the theme and then the improvisation. So how do we groove? Like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Snap on tune four. One, two, three, four. One, two. If you don't hear one, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's the main thing. It has to be grooving as hell. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. See how the whole thing works? Just with the grooving without the backing track. If you groove here with the two, four thing, then it's really, it's grooving as hell. So now let's check out the theme. I'm gonna switch off the delay. And let's check it out. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we check out uh, the scale which the whole thing is played in, is this one here. G major scale in this position here. Let's see this one to understand. Third, fifth, seventh. Four, five, seven, four, five, seven, five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. Okay, so it's in <coughs> this major scale we're moving around basically in this pattern. Now the melody is, I mean, the, um, if you listen to the version of Ella Fitzgerald, it's, uh, you play around the melody, it's not that you play the melody exact, but if you want to play around the melody, you need to know the melody the exact way, and that's this one here. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, was twice this one. The rhythm figure stays now and then, two, twice this. Here, seven, five, five. Second time you resolve down here on the D. And then comes the highlight of the song. Seven, seven, five, eight. And then here eight down to seven on the D string. 
and then four, five, eight, seven, and then eight, seven, five, five, seven. That's the whole thing. It's really a simple melody. I'm gonna play it with the backing track quickly. the melody as plain as it can be. In modern jazz, um, you teach the, the students to play the melodies exact the way that's written down. I'm more the old style guy, <coughs> and Ella Fitzgerald as well, you, you know, and the idea of jazz never was to play melodies exact. The idea was to improvise and make something out of the theme, you know. And that's exactly what is done or by Ella Fitzgerald. Now, the Ella Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald version is more open and it goes a little bit like this. was the difference? It was more groovy, had more syncopations or more anticipations in it. And the third, <coughs> the third figure here. She already made her first resolution up here. You can make it the way you want. Just keep in mind you need to have the highlights of the melody in in your. Uh, in your melody improvisation. And the highlights are, of course, the opening phrase. And here, maybe make a variation. And this is the highlight here. You cannot skip this one. This has to be bam, 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 because there is the, the lyric line, just, just the jackknife. Oh, by the way, the jazz band you're hearing, it's me. I play the piano and I play the bass. <laughs> I used to be a jazz uh, piano player uh, playing in many jazz clubs, believe it or not. <laughs> okay. And uh, the reverb you're hearing is from the original Birdland. Yeah, that's the way you can play around the melody. Now, if you want to... Uh, develop the thing like Ella Fitzgerald did it, you start with the melody more or less near to the original, then you start moving around, getting out of it, but still highlighting the main parts. This, this, it's this and this. These are the two main parts which you need to highlight. So, the, the track is um, <coughs> the two choruses on G and then you move to A flat one chorus to A uh, one chorus to B flat, one chorus to B, um, and one chorus. I'm going to show you how I develop an idea here. And, I mean, if you want to know the chords, the chords are a little bit helpful for the, for the improvisation, if you want, but uh, it's not really, this one is really a simple uh, progression, you don't really need to know it. But if you want to know it, it's G6. So... <laughs> Two bars to A minor, to two bars to D D na, two bars to G, and then to E minor. Two bars to A minor seven. To D sus, to 
G6. So it's a one, two, five, one, then six, two, five, one progression. Really simple. It's nothing wild. You don't really need to follow the chords if you but you can if you want. So I'm gonna do what I was talking about. And don't forget to have it's more important to groove. You know, one, two, three, four, one, two. That's the main thing. Okay. What you also can do is, what I just did, play the melody in octaves. Um, if I play it in G, it's, it's not such a brainer. It's if you have the, I always use the pink as orientation. If the pink is on B string or on E string, you need to have three frets. Um, in, you play over three frets, lower it's two frets. And that's, okay. You can also do that. And you saw when you go one, two, keep this groove going on. And that's the main thing to do, okay? I make it a second example. I went too fast out of the melody, which because but I came back with the melody. That's also a concept with it, which you can do in improvisation. Uh, leave early, come back earlier and then go away, or make it slower and then go out of at the end. I'm gonna try this now. Okay.
next key, now we go out. guys the main topic of today's tutorial is not so much the licks which i played it's about learning the melody the exact way and then start moving around the melody and highlighting in the groove and the groove is a two fourth feeling all these little gimmicks <laughs> They come automatically when you have the two four feet one two three four that's the main thing It's really a simple melody, but you have to do it in this 2-4 groove, and that's what it makes, and that's what swing is, you know, guys? It's not to pay, sorry, play complicated, it's about to swing, you know? We just stop when the fat lady swings, that's another song. And it's really, swing is to groove, and not to play complicated. I mean, some guys can play complicated stuff, but if it doesn't swing, has no sense playing complicated stuff. So first thing, get the melody. Second, make variations on the melody. Third, make it groovy. That's all what it's about, you know. And this song is really simple. It's not m too many complicated um, chords. You don't even need to know the chords in this case. You just can go for the groove. And that's why uh, I consider this a more easy jazz tutorial for you guys. And it's really fun. I, re I really love, love, love this song because it so has so much joy and coolness. Yeah, good. That's all I wanted to say. Uh, if you want to download the tabs and the backing track, the backing track, as I said, it's me playing piano <laughs> and bass, but ba ma basically piano. As I said, I, I'm a jazz pianist as well. Uh, it's available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Join there. Make a premium membership account, then you can download the tabs and the backing track. If you love my channel, please share it to all your friends, which you know are interested in guitar playing. Help me the channel grow. And this also helps you because the bigger the channel gets, the more cool stuff can come for you, you know, guys. It's about giving and taking. You know, I give stuff to you, you help me and stuff like that. Good, that's all for you guys. See you next time. <laughs>